Hey guys, another episode. I'm solo today. Taking out the front seat and replaced it with the Esky and my tackle bag. And yeah, we're heading out just off the beach. Me and Dad just carried the kayak down and I'm gonna be fishing all the reef and the drop off. Hoping for some decent fish. I've got some pillies there. I've got lures. I've got the balloon so I can float out a couple pillies too if I want. But um, yeah, first time going by myself on the kayak. Two seater, so. Um, so you usually need two people to keep the nose down a bit, but staying down with the esky up the front there. 4.5 foot, we're just heading out. Three rods, got that heavier one, and my two lighter ones. And um, yeah, we got the thing getting fixed at the moment. Well, the fuel connection part has snapped off. So um, that shouldn't be too long, that should be done by next week. So you'll see us out on the boat soon, but um, there's some reef under us. Under us. But yeah, it's been raining all morning. And um, I've just been sitting in my room waiting for the rain to stop and it's finally just stopped. And we've had a look at the radar, there's not much more around. It's still around though, as you guys can see. So we might get a little bit wet, I don't know. But um, yeah, I thought I'd get the opportunity to come out here. Well, it's not as windy today. It's not too bad. And um, yeah, get some fishing in. All right, let's keep heading out. Clip my bait on. That's what we're using, filtered. I've rigged gang hook with a wire down to a treble. And I'm just gonna slowly tow this around. I'm gonna clip that on. Let's sink fast. Let's hope it doesn't spin. Yeah, nice. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give that a cast out. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy jeez. I've lost my bait. I was just putting it on. Oh my gosh. I'm not joking. That was a bite. But that just took the whole thing. You see, guys, see the head shakes then? What the hell? I was literally doing my drag. I just flicked the bail arm over and I already had a hit just then. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was crazy. I'm going to put another one on. Oh. What? Alright, I'll just re-rigged. Put another whole pilly on. I'm gonna cast him back out. Get off there. Come here. Alright. Coconut there. I don't want to get reef, so I'm running pretty tight drag. All right. Now I'm just going to slowly drift down. I'm going to try to turn around, actually. I right, uh, 13 foot. I'm going to go back over there. Just got a bite. Where is that? Is that a, I think it's a mackerel. Oh. oh, yeah, a little mackerel on the pilchard. Oh, he yeah, he come off. That's all right. It was only little. I don't know how he got off that though. Get some more line out, float that back out the back and see if we can get another, another mackerel. All 
All right, so we just come a bit further up. We just pulled off the anchor and um, drove up probably 100 meters further up and found some more good bombies. I'm casting them back out, drifting this bait over the top of them, hoping for a nice fish. Set the GoPro up a bit different on this little stick here. Bit of a different angle, should be nice. Yeah, just gonna keep feeding this out and um, leave it in the rod holder and wait for it to bend over. Cheers, guys. Just hooked up on the stick bait. Feels all right. What, what have we got? Oh yeah. Uh, that's like a baby spangle or something, grass or something. What is that? Some sort of baby, some sort of emperor. We're gonna release him. Just got him first cast. The Howcast Sly Dog. There's a. 105 mil. Got him on that. That's the setup there. It's now beginning to rain a little bit. Look at the balloon floating at the back there. It's pretty, it's just going from a little bit windy and then it's just dropping out to like this dead glassy stuff as this little school of rain comes over. It's super clean the water too. Like we just changed spots again to um we're in about eight foot now. So we'll try a bit shallower. And um, yeah, you can see the bottom so easily. I could see the bottom back out there in about 15 foot. And that's without the sun. So with the sun, it'll be so much better. Right. It is so clean right now. Yeah, this is quite nice out here. Just little sprinkles of rain. I've got a waterproof phone case, so it doesn't matter. I've got a bilge pump on the back. She's all good. Suitable for a bit of water. Yeah, it's really nice out here. I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow. We're gonna be out here till probably till sunset. Or oh. for a long time anyway. I'll uh, put that back in the rod holder. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah, nothing just yet except for piss all over the kayak. Little update, try to piss in a can and fucking start overflowing. I had, to, I, had to, I had to take a break, but um, just trying to wash it down a little bit. My makeshift toilet overflowed a little bit. Yeah, she's good to go. Set that up there. Yeah, um, it's been pretty slow actually. I don't know why, but I just let some more length out on this pilcher so it's sitting down lower in the water instead of up high. So if a trout. We'll come out for it. Yeah, I'm just letting that line floating out the back. Our wind's starting to come back up again, but nothing serious. Like, it's not going to stop us or anything. Yeah, it's good fun out here. All right, so we're going to head over to this little bay up here. And um, I'm going to troll over there. I've got the rod out right now. Lucian's in front of me. Wind behind us, just pushing us straight towards these mangroves that you'll see. And you've seen in the last video, we're going back to that spot to give it a shot because it, it can be quite good there on um, high tide because usually the bait is stacked up in there and there'll be trevally, queenfish and all them type of fish um, smashing it really. So poppers in there is really good, um, stick baits, that sort of things. Yeah, we're going to head over there now and um, yeah, try to get in there. We're going to cross like this really shallow sandbank through these mangroves. So. You guys will see that. But we might hook up on the way, I don't know. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, we decided to leave the kayaks there. I'll pull this up a bit closer. Okay? Oh yeah? Uh, leave the kayaks there. We're gonna walk through the mangroves here a bit. He said he just spotted a shark. But barefoot. Stingrays all through here. I'm gonna try to walk through there. Have a fish. Got me um pliers in my pocket. 
Yeah. Ow. Chopsticks. Bit deep there. I don't think there's mud crabs in there. You'd think there would be, but there's not. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about them. Yeah, it's pretty clean, luckily, so I can see. I'm only going to fish over here somewhere. There's a bit of bait over there. Alright, I want to start fishing here. I might walk out a little bit further. Oh, we could have just walked through there. Ah, oh well. Five forty three, we won't have long to fish. I'll just be quick. Yeah, we won't have long. Well, after, after this, we'll have to fog straight back. Take it on. Oh, I'll get mine out of the way. Oh, no, I'm jumping in. Oh, oh there goes me, Tilly. Look at the size of this shark underneath us. Oh my god, look, he's underneath me. You guys see that? Look, there he is. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this shark. Oh, oh, holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's underneath me. Look, look. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I got this all on my phone too. Oh, hang on, don't, yeah, don't touch me too much. Look, there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, you don't paddle on him too much. Just hang on, stop, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's un oh my gosh, he's right underneath me. Oh my gosh. Oh my, he's, he's six meters. He's, no, he's like four meters long. That thing's like seven foot. He just showed right up to the kayak. The GoPro didn't want to turn on, but oh my gosh, that thing was half the size of this kayak, and he was right there. Like you touched him with the paddle. I could have put my, I could have touched him with my hand then. Wait, where's he at? There's sharks everywhere. Holy shit! Whoa. Okay, so that. Unbelievable. As you guys have seen, that shark would have been half the size of this kayak. Probably three and a half meters to four meters long. And probably the width of it too. Like that was the biggest shark in only four foot of water maybe. Yeah, five foot. 
We're gonna punch all the way back. The sun's real low now, we got a bit carried away. Yeah, not as many fish today, but um, definitely had a good time. We'll be back out here tomorrow for tomorrow's episode, the next episode. And um, yeah, what fun that was. We're gonna ride all these waves now. It's quite rough. Lucian's there. Yeah. She handles the wave. I'll move the esky back so we get the nose up a bit more. She goes over the wheel waves real nicely now. Really impressed with that. I got the motor full ball. Yeah, what a good day that was. There were so many sharks in that bay behind us there. And as I was filming, I pressed on the GoPro and it just didn't want to turn on. You just have to pull the battery out and then put it back in. I don't know why it does it, but just does it in the wrong time as usual. So I quickly whipped over to my phone because that's how long he was hanging around for. And yeah, I got some awesome, awesome bit of footage on my phone. Yeah, you guys, you guys seen that? And um, yeah, we're gonna make it back. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.